you want to hear some crazy myths about addiction, specifically drug addiction, here we go. One, addicts can quit at any time. From my experience, no. If that were the case, I wouldn't have caused the destruction, the heartbreak that I did for 13 years. I wouldn't have had any issues, any legal troubles, anything like that if I could quit anytime I want. The reason why I say this is, for me, I was addicted to opiates. When you're physically addicted, your body needs that. I don't remember the first time I got dope sick, but I do remember I really wanted to quit, but I couldn't. I just couldn't. There were many times I'd be dope sick, right? And then I would get my fix. When I say being well, that means my body does not hurt anymore once I get my fix. I was addicted to H, so I'd be dope sick, right? I'd pick up and then I wouldn't hurt anymore. When I would be under the influence, when I would be well, I was thinking to myself, all right, this is it. I'm done. I am done. I'm just going to do what I have left, get through the day, wake up, go to detox, go to rehab, and that's it. Come the next morning, waking up sick, all of the withdrawals that are listed, I would have. I remember the night before, I told myself I would quit, but that was not happening. Why? Because I was dope sick. As time went on, in and out of detox, in and out of rehab, I still went back to using, still went back to dope. I wanted to quit, but I couldn't. Addicts can quit anytime they want. The only way that that's possible is when the addict is ready, 100%. If I'm wrong, tell me. Two, addiction only happens to certain types of people. In my experience, out of everything I've seen, that is incorrect. Addiction can happen to anybody. Addiction doesn't judge. As soon as opiates came into my life, everything was done. When I was in rehab, jail, prisons, I saw so many types of people, man. So many different types of people. The majority were there because they were addicted to something. Their addiction caused them to do things that they normally wouldn't do. So to me, addiction can happen to anybody. Anywhere. Doesn't matter how much money you have. If your body agrees with a certain substance, with anything, then you're hooked. Three, addiction is a choice. Man, right off the bat, it's not. Using is a choice, right? Yeah, of course. It is your decision. It is up to you. If you pick up and you use, that is your decision. And that is something that you have to deal with. Sometimes that decision could affect the rest of your life just like it did mine. Four, addiction treatment doesn't work. There's a variety of different treatment centers out there, a variety of different rehabs, right? Different amenities. Some will have this, some won't have that. Some will have a gym, some will not. Some have one psychiatrist, some will have 10 psychiatrists. Some will be one story, some will be three stores. Some will have 10 rooms, some will have 100 rooms. With all that being said, Treatment will only work if you work it, if you work the program. You can go to any type of rehab. Chances are they're going to be teaching you somewhat of the same things, right? The same message. Some will be 12-step based. Some might be religious. But at the end of the day, the message is to get clean, get sober. None of that information is going to work if you don't work it. It works if you work it. Five. Addicts are immoral or bad people. Personally, that's incorrect. Sure, a person's addiction will make them do ugly things. I did a lot of things that I, I regret, right? I made a lot of bad decisions with my addiction. But that doesn't make me a bad person. What I was doing at that time was bad, of course, right? But that doesn't make me a bad person. Your addiction will make you do things that you normally wouldn't do. You're going to be a total different person. Your family and friends aren't going to even recognize you. Your body will be just a shell. But up here and in here, it's going to be numb. Your main priority 
is going to be to get your fix, to get your drink. That becomes the number one priority. Everything else is secondary. And I mean that. I couldn't and I wouldn't eat unless I got high. My body wouldn't let me. I would get nauseous. I would start gagging if I tried to eat. If I smell certain types of food. If I've smelt food in general. I would just become nauseous. But once I got high. I got more hungry. I was starving. And then I could eat something. Just because I was well. Six. Addiction is a hopeless condition. Although at times it may feel like it. When you're in full blown addiction. It may feel like nothing's going to change. It may feel like you're not going to get better. I know it. I was there. I lived it. Waking up sick every day, in and out of detox, jails, a variety of institutions, prison. I got to the point where I didn't want to wake up anymore. I would be praying every night. I don't want to wake up because I was sick. I had a condition that seemed hopeless at the time. I was in a situation that I thought I would never get out of. But all of that can change when you're ready. I was really surprised at these myths. You know, I did a lot of research, look at different websites, just to see what some common myths are. These were just a few that I wanted to address and bring some attention to. And hopefully this helps somebody out there. If you or some family is going through it, I get it, I was there, reach out to me. I'm more than happy to talk to you. And if this is the first video that you've ever watched from me, welcome. Do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe. If you find that you watch my videos and you're not subscribed, help a brother out. As of today, I'm 10 subscribers away from 100. Hashtag road to 100 subscribers. Thanks for listening.